All right, so we have a nice, beautiful stack of French toast today, so we're gonna eat this real quick. So this is my first meal, my first big meal of the day. It's one o'clock right now, so essentially, we're starting off a little tiny mini cut for the next couple of weeks here. So the next like three to four weeks, I just wanna do a little mini cut, reset my metabolism and everything. So you might be thinking, okay, that doesn't look like food you eat on a cut, but as you get a week or two into this, I'll probably start changing up the foods even more and more. I'm just starting to kind of cut out some things out of my diet, clean up the diet a little bit. Obviously, I have some whipped cream on there, some syrup, but um, we'll transition over to some sugar-free syrup, some um, fat-free whipped cream or something like that. It's literally just gonna be over the next like three to four weeks just to let my back kind of heal up a little bit. I'm gonna introduce some more bodybuilding type training going on, um, but essentially, it's just gonna be over the next month. And then we're gonna get right back into powerlifting training because we do have collegiate nationals coming up in april right now we're letting the back heal up we're going to focus on primarily some bodybuilding training stay away from the heavy lifts for a little bit let my back heal let my legs heal just feel overall better reset the metabolism cut down a little bit get a little bit leaner i'll show you guys my weight right now and where my starting weight was and my physique is right now we're gonna hit a workout in a little bit here let's finish this french toast Bodybuilding starts right now. So if you guys remember my weight directly before the competitions, the night before I was 234 pounds body weight, or to almost 235 pounds body weight. And then the morning of, I was 231.4 pounds exactly in the morning when I weighed in. So that was exactly what I needed to be. Now, let me tell you guys, it's like midday right now. I've eaten like one big meal so far. I'm gonna show you guys my weight. All right, so 227.8 pounds. Um, 227.8 pounds, it's midday right now. I'm pretty positive when I woke up this morning, immediately when I woke up, I was 224.8, so that's absolutely crazy. Um, I, that's considering I didn't eat that much last night, but considering over like the past week, just barely been like restricting my diet, cleaning myself up a little bit, um, not tracking anything at all yet, but I'm already down. Um, morning weight wise, I'm already down like six pounds right now. So, so a lot of that's probably gonna be a little bit of water weight so far. It's not like I'm, I lost like six pounds of fat immediately. Um, but we're just gonna keep this thing going for the next two weeks or so. I ultimately probably want to get down to like 220 pounds, 218 pounds, something like that. Not extremely like an extremely long cut or anything by any means, just something to reset my metabolism. And then here is the starting physique. So, I mean, I can already tell, I feel like I just like look leaner already. Like my abs are just popping a lot more than, than usual. Like when I have a lot of like food in my stomach and stuff like that. So this is like the starting physique one weekend already down like five pounds of probably like water weight and stuff like that. So this is kind of what I'm looking like um, just to kind of start this thing off. So we'll take a look back at this in the next couple of weeks and see how much has changed. So I was doing a little home workout uh, today. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of different stuff. Like I said, I'm not really doing powerlifting specific stuff. I'm still gonna try and follow the protocol that my coach is giving me. Um, so I'm still gonna bench today. And I'm also going to try and squat a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna go super, super heavy. I'm trying to like let my back heal up, obviously. Uh, but if it feels good, I'm gonna add some weight on there um, as long as there's no pain. I'm still gonna do the powerlifting stuff. I'm just not gonna prioritize it. I'm still gonna make sure I'm hitting some of that stuff. We should be able to knock it out much quicker. So I don't have any more shaker cups, but we have a good combination of the green apple flight in here and the blue raspberry end of bump. So we're doing that right now. Uh, discount code Tangler for 10% off as always from the VPN. Um, and I'm gonna hit a little back and bicep day today too. Yesterday I hit literally the first push day I've done in like over a year. I did a chest and tricep day yesterday. First 
first freaking push day I've done in forever. So today we're gonna do somewhat of a pull day. I still wanna mess around a little bit with bench and squat. <laughs> Come take a seat, mount up the feet, I'm hungry like a man fast in this week. It's time to eat, back from the dead, put the shit on repeat. I'm the missing link, open your eyes, nigga, what do you seek? My vision complete. Bitch, I'm as black as they come, come. Even shoot black when I come, come. I'ma shoot black when I come, bang. They wanna All right, so I know I was taking out powerlifting movements, but um, we're still gonna be doing a little bit, like I, like I mentioned. Um, so we're keeping everything pretty light. After the meet, everything's pretty light to begin with. We're getting kind of like a, a volume block right now, no singles right now. Um, but I still wanna be able to hit these movements at least lighter, keep my form a little bit and still be practicing them. Maybe I'm not gonna spend a whole hour on squats anymore, but I still wanna make sure I'm hitting those and stuff like that. So we have 405 on the bar right here um, for squats. So yeah, this feels okay, I might go up a little bit more. It's supposed to be like RPE six-ish today. So I mean, optimally I'd wanna hit like 495 for a set of four or something like that today, but we'll see if my back can handle that. Again, I don't wanna push it too hard, but I still want to do these powerful movements, make sure I'm still doing them. Knock these out as fast as we can, get under the body building stuff, and that's gonna be what we're doing. Five for four. I think I'm gonna call that there for the top set. Um, I would go 495, but I'm just not feeling like amazing, and that's because I'm simply just like not squatting that much right now. So I think it's good that we keep using some weight, but I'm not going maximal and like hurting my back, hurting my quads. Um, let myself recover a little bit using some sub maximal weight like 455. Them as black as they come, come. Even shoot black when I come, come. I'ma shoot black when I come. Bang. They wanna attack, but I'm numb. I numb. Just gets the black on my bum. Hot nigga, I'm moving back to the sun. The sun. Bitch, I just rap cause it's fun. Got my lady wearing all black like a nun. Okay, so this lap hold on doesn't go up high enough when I go up to get a full stretch. So I'm widening out my grip as much as I possibly can to decrease the range of motion. So hopefully I can almost get a full stretch. Optimally, I'd want it to be a little bit higher, get that full stretch in my lats, but. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Let's paint it all. We in all. I need it in all. My heart, soul, I go. Let's paint it all. We in all. I need it in all. All right, so we've established I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting down here for the next couple weeks, little mini cut. So I have not cut down a single time since freshman year uh, spring. And I did like a little four week mini cut, that was it. So that was approximately over a year and a half ago since the last time I cut down. So since that time, the whole past year and a half, I've been bulking up from 218 all the way to like 235, 237-ish is where I kind of got to at the peak of that. Um, so at, at the end of the bulk and everything just kind of felt like almost like sick. I was just tired of eating food and all that stuff. So I think it's gonna be a good opportunity for me to just like clean some things up, lean down again, reset my metabolism, and hopefully I'm gonna try and keep all that strength that I had while I cut down to like 220, 218. And this is definitely not any sort of extensive cut. I'm literally just cutting down to like 
218 or 220 and I'm not trying to get down to like competition lean um, because obviously it's only like three to four weeks that I'm going to be cutting super quick mini cut just trying to shred a couple pounds super short time frame but I'm gonna take you guys through it exactly what I'm doing so hopefully the goal is to keep doing enough powerlifting movements and stuff and I really really push myself on my especially my bench and my squat deadlifts a little if you're now but I'm gonna try to keep as much strength as possibly can because uh, usually when you cut down obviously you're gonna lose strength but a lot of times in my experience, that happens once you're like eight weeks in, then you start to really see the diminish in your strength and stuff like that. So I think if I'm cutting for three to four weeks and I only get down to like 220, I'm hoping that I can maintain pretty much all of that strength. And then from there, start building back up, um, putting on some more lean muscle from uh, 220 pounds or whatever, and get back to like 231 by the time it's competition time in April. So the goal is to put on some lean muscle um, after this, put on lean muscle, put on strength, while then being in a slight surplus so that I'm in a really good position to hopefully gain strength and gain muscle. That's the goal, is to lean out to a physique that I can start building from. So that's what I'm doing. Overall, I want to recap real quick my lifts from the meat and just overall what I thought of the meat. So I think I did a pretty solid job at the meet. I think squat bench went exactly as planned. Now just to like let you guys know, the warm up room at the meet was like very just like unorganized, like not the best equipment whatsoever. Um, it was extremely hot, like it, it was like 50 degrees outside, but it was just like 85 degrees in the warm up room, super sweaty, just like no circulation, very cramped for like the amount of people that were in it. And like I said, the warm equipment was like not very good at all. Um, so it was a bit of a struggle, but um, by the time I had warmed up fully to my squat, um, I was just like dripping sweat. I was pounding down uh, some Gatorade and some G1M sport from uh, from BPN, trying to get electrolytes, trying to get fluid in my body and stuff like that. Um, very, <laughs> so that was not optimal. But once we went out there, I went with my coach's plan and hit uh, 546 pounds for my open arm squat. And then after that, that went super, super well. Uh, went straight up to 579 pounds, as you guys saw. That felt really good. So my coach had me going for 601 only um, as my top, but he put a reach on here um, of 612. So I decided to go for the reach and just go 612 because 579 didn't feel that bad whatsoever. So went 612 and that went perfectly fine. Like I was very happy with that, especially for kind of the condition I, my back was into. So 612 locked that in. Obviously 640 is my best squat to date. Um, but for a meat PR with a little bit of a bad back, um, bad warm up conditions and stuff like that, at a meet, I'm happy with 612. So we're going to take that one. Now for bench, uh, same kind of thing happened here. So I did my 364 um, opener, felt extremely good. Now bench has just been feeling very, very good when it comes to um, my pause bench. I think my touch and go bench has just been like not as good. Like, um, I just have like, I think my pause is literally like better than my touch and go at this point. Um, so I hit that 364, extremely easy, went straight up to, he wanted me to, my coach wanted me to hit 380 pounds, but I figured that was too low. So I went 385 pounds for my second attempt. Um, and that went super well again. So I was just like, he had me going 397 pounds for my, my third attempt. And I just decided to push it, go for the reach, or not go for the reach, but go a little bit above that. And I went 402, 403 um, pounds on that third attempt. And that one, literally after looking at the video, like it actually was not that bad. I lifted it off. It didn't feel that heavy in my hands. So I think bench is feeling really good. I think bench has a lot of potential in the future too. So 402 on bench. I'm extremely happy with four competition because honestly, I wouldn't have expected to go from only hitting 353 in competition last year to 402 in competition this year. Because last year also on squat, I only hit 573, I believe, um, in competition, and it was like an okay rep. So going from 573 to 612, I'm really happy with that as well. Like obviously I know I can do more, which is good for the future, but um, both of those lifts, extremely happy with. Um, bench went up literally 50 pounds from last year when I hit at the meet. Like I couldn't even hit 363 at the meet last year. I missed it. And then this year, that was my opener and I smoked it easily. So I'm really happy with the progress on bench and squat. So that was really good. Deadlift wise, obviously things were not there as I had planned. Um, my coach had me opening up with 612, um, having my second attempt at 645 and third attempt at 672. So obviously none of that really happened. And honestly, going into the meet, I had no idea how my back would feel because I hadn't deadlifted since 
Wednesday before the meet and I had only hit, I only worked up to 385 for um, a couple of reps and it was feeling like, eh, like, okay. So I wasn't even really sure. Took a bunch of ibuprofen, just went out there and just kind of selected 562 as my opener and just to kind of see how it felt. Cause I knew 562, like no matter what, I can move that weight. Like whether I was feeling terrible or it felt really good, I knew I could move that weight and, ju uh, and just adjust from there. So 562, like really moved well off the ground. I think when once my lower back had to come into play to like kind of lock, lock out that whole rep and you know, get myself upright, that's where it really struggled. Um, so <laughs> That one was fine, just decided to go 600. And just by the way that it moved and the way that it felt, my back kind of hurt. Um, I wasn't, I felt like I was pretty explosive off the ground on that 600, but then once I got to the top again, like I said, my lower back had to really take over and it just didn't, it just didn't feel right. So I was like, there was no point in me going for like 630 or something like that, like a weight that I know I could have hit <clears throat> and like risking to get injured. Yeah, sure, if I was going for like 700 or something like that, maybe I would just send it and go for it and see what happened. But in this situation, it was like, it wasn't worth like risking getting injured for a weight that I normally hit in training. So just stuck with 600, waved my third attempt and uh, kind of called it right there. But overall, I think good meat on my part. And I was just looking at my goals. I had set down for myself uh, goals for 2020. So lifting goals, I put 650 pound squat, 405 bench, 720 deadlift. So I was just like very close to most of these. So I did hit a 640 pound squat. I did hit a 405 pound bench, hit 675 deadlift. So deadlift was a little bit off, but I was I was really pretty generous with all these because I was trying to push myself you know, as hard as I could. So I set those goals pretty high for myself. And surprisingly, or not even surprisingly, like I kind of knew I had it in me to do it. Um, squat was very close, bench was right on, deadlift almost there. We gotta work on that a little bit. So we're gonna work on that as the back kind of heals up here. So anyways, very good meat. <laughs> In my opinion, other than deadlift, I'm happy with it, but I'm ready to move on and start getting ready for nationals coming up in April. So um, that's what I'm really excited about. That's down in LSU um, in Louisiana. So that's going to be extremely fun, but also like extremely competitive. There's going to be a lot more guys there, um, a lot more competitive lifters there and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see who comes, um, how it's going to be. And also I'm excited to see how much I can progress before then so short quick little mini cut right now hopefully get down to 220 pounds body weight something like that we're gonna build up after that and just hopefully everything's healed up feeling good slowly build back into it we'll have about three solid months to prepare for nationals i'm super excited for it i'm gonna take you guys along in this next couple weeks of this cut this little mini cut i'm gonna show you guys actually exactly what i'm doing exactly what i'm eating all that stuff hopefully you guys enjoyed that meat day video that was absolutely insane thank you for aiden thank you to aiden for filming that one um but we have some more videos coming soon all about the cut all about the mini cut trying to maintain the strength, a little more bodybuilding content coming up in these next couple weeks, trying to transform the physique as much as I can with the bodybuilding, uh, with some bodybuilding exercises, bodybuilding workouts, um, and cutting down, hopefully get a nice little transformation out of it, and hopefully reset my metabolism, lean out, get ready to start building back to where I need to be. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate all the support as always. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. Um, and Merry Christmas to everyone. I think probably by the time I upload this, it'll be Christmas. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. We got a lot of content coming soon, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you. Peace. People trying to say I'm only in the me. Got a cold with my dogs, can't get in between. I can give them life, no more energy.